We're going to tie a really easy to tie black ant imitation. And we tie it, the main material is this easy liner, it's shelf liner, you can get it at, at Walmart. Um, and you get, uh, I think this package is 10 feet and 12 inches wide. I have no idea how many flies you can tie with that, but it's a whole lot. So uh, if you want some of this material, you don't want to go to Walmart and buy it, send me uh, an envelope. Just stick a note in there that says send me the black ant material and put a folded up envelope in it with your address on it your return address on it and a stamp and I'll send it back and be sure you stamp the envelope that you send me. I'll send you about this much of it. That'll probably tie, I don't know, 20 flies, something like that. So when you get this stuff, you'll notice if you look at it that in one direction, there's a single connection between the, the uh, squares on this or circles on this. And in the other, there's two connections. And so what you want to do is take a pair of scissors and cut off a single a row using the single connection. It was cut this way, so you cut through the single links, not this way. And you'll see why in just a minute. So you wind up with a strip that looks like this. And what you do is you just take this strip and get hold of an end and pull apart. And what does that look like? It looks like the antenna of an ant. And you go down to and then pull it apart again and you can make a bunch of these little two segment bodies that look like this out of a single strip. So that's the first part of this. The second part of this is the material that we use for the wing and I don't have the name of this right off the top of my head. I'll try to find it and put it in the video but this is just like a parachute cord, a uh, craft cord that I got at one of the craft stores. And so what I do is I cut this stuff into about three inch lengths, lengths and then take a pair of scissors and just stroke the ends of it until they fray apart. And so you just keep doing this and finally you get the ends to fray apart and then eventually you can separate these little strands and pull them apart. Just keep stroking it until you get the material apart. And so all I need is just a little bit of it. That's more than enough. I'll just pull that out. So that's the way you get the little wing material uh, that winds up looking like, looking like that. And the other thing you need is a nymph hook. This is a size 14, seems to fit best for me, and some black thread. This is a Flymaster, uh, Danville Flymaster 140. Uh, you could really use anything for this, as you'll see. And I want to start right up behind the eye of the hook. And then I just want to wrap back all the way to the bend of the hook. I don't really have to cover the hook shank, but it's one of my things. Then I come back up to about the middle. I take my little body and what I do is I just put it on my side of the hook like that. Wrap around it, over it. Kind of a loose wrap and then pull it tight and let it roll up onto the top. And then I hold the back. If you um, want to make this a little more realistic, the front um, part of an ant's body is smaller than the rear. And so what you can do is you can just hold this and keep wrapping to the front and you can wrap down to make that f the head region as small as you want it to be, large, you know, in relation to the rear. When you get that done, come back to the middle. <coughs> Take, this is going to be a wing. I'm going to get rid of all the extras on that. And then we'll just clip. I want to get rid of all the frayed part of that. 
and let's take a quick loose wrap over it. Second loose wrap. I'm just going to pull the ends down and then wrap over them. And however long you want your wing to be, that looks about right to me. Cut off even with the back body, part of the body. And hold up the front. Build a nice little head. Whip finish. And if you're like me, I always stick a second whip finish in there. Pull it tight, cut it off, and there you go from the top. Nice little black ant imitation.